Hey from Railblazer, we're going to do some installs today on the Stealth Pro Fish of 525 using the Quick Port. We use the Quick Port so we can do installs this nice composite kayak without drilling any holes. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to take the Quick Port, take off the star port, install a side port, and install it here in the front wheel of the kayak. We've already swapped out the star port for the side port. Everything else you need for the installation is, comes in the kit 3M VHB adhesive, the scouring pad, and the alcohol swab. So, the next step is take your alcohol swab. First, you want to wipe down the area, you're going to mount the quick port on the kayak, and then wipe down the quick port itself. So the next step is take your scouring pad, and you want to mark the area that you're going to mount the quick port, and scour that area. So the next step is going to be installing the 3M VHB adhesive to the back of the quick port. You're going to peel the adhesive away, then take your quick port, Line it up with 3M VHB and press firmly. You take the back and rub, rub firmly on it so that it's, you have a nice bond. So the only tool required for this installation is a pair of scissors. You use the scissors to cut the excess 3M VHB away from the quick port. Peel the adhesive off the back of the quick port. Take your quick port and firmly place it against the kite where you're trying to mount it. Now we stuck our quick port. In 15 minutes we'll have a working bond. In 12 hours we'll have a permanently mounted quick port onto our kayak. The reason why we mounted this here, we wanted a place for our camera adapter so we can get that hero shot on the water. So on the Stealth 525 you have this large hatch. We're going to use a stove pod and a quick port to store some small items here on the side. Quick port installed inside the hatch. We're going to take our stove pod, slide it in place, lock it, good to go. So next we're going to install this quick port right behind the seat for our Camera Boom 600. The camera Boom 600 is going to give us that over the shoulder shot and also that wide angle shot. Before we install the quick port, we want to make sure we put rods in these rod holders to make sure we have clearance. So we have our rods and our rod holders. We're going to take our quick port with our camera boom 600, make sure that the camera boom is above our forward rod, and then on this kite, the perfect place for the quick port is to be between the 525 logo and the rear rod holder. In 15 minutes, we'll have a good working bond. It'll take 12 hours and this will be completely adhered to the kayak. In the meantime, while we're waiting for the 12 hours to go, we're going to go ahead and tape down the edges and make sure we keep those nice and secure against the kayak. So I've taped down the edges. In 12 hours, I'll be able to take the tape off. We'll have a permanent bonded quick port to our kayak. Finally, on the Stealth Pro Fish of 525, we're going to install some safety equipment. The Railblazer Visibility Kit 2 will give us a safety flag and light, and we're going to install that using a quick port right behind the rudder plate and in front of the rear handle. It's important when you're doing this for a friend is you make sure you line up the quick port properly so that every time you go out fishing with them you don't have to hear about how you installed their base crooked. We finished installing the quick port on the kayak. We now have installed our Railblazer Visibility Kit 2. We like to keep installed far back as possible and give us as much fishing room as we possibly can.